Keep this simple, nice looking cake. Keep on watching. And this will be all you'll be needing. First of all, we want to get the zest out. So I go to the orange, my lemon zest and orange. I have an empty bowl, whatever you have. I'm going to add in my flour and my sugar. This butter, you can see that it's soft. Don't melt it, please. You can choose to use your, um, your electric mixer. I really love working with my hands. It's wonderful doing so. <laughs> So what I'm doing is this, since the butter is um, soft, you just want to mix it up with this flour. Mixing it with your hands, it should be like this. Add our salt, I'm using a sea salt here. I'm going to gather in here all of this zest. Exactly. And try also to incorporate them together. One egg in. Yep. This one we just need the yolk. So we are going to. I'm using another small bowl <laughs> over here. If you can see what I'm doing, just to try to separate the eggs, the white from the yellow. So here I have the yolk. Okay, can you see? I'm just adding it straight there. Using your hand to try to incorporate it all together. Transfer it on this desk. Like that. And once you get to this stage, all you need to do is use a wrap, wrap it up because we are going to put it right inside the fridge for at least the uh, minimum of 30 minutes. We'll be back. Okay, before. Um, now it's 30 minutes, but before you bring out your dough, try to prepare your pan first. I just washed my, just drying it up. Tear this into two. Oops. Okay. Like that, and you'll be needing this also. As you bring out your dough from the fridge, you see it's hard compared to before. It's still soft, not blocked, but hope you understand what I mean. So there, I cut out just a little bit, just a little bit. That amount. We are about to roll our bread, and that's why you'll be needing this to flatten it. And as you work, and you have to also check um, the size of your bread. Like mine is right. <laughs> okay, just to show you what I mean. There. Now it's really flat, it can cover it, so I think I'm going to go. So remember this, what you're going to do, right now is now to drop the pin. I try to like separate it. Knife, just a knife, and try to like slice off 
these edges that is a bit long it's a bit bigger than the other one just use your hand and I just here And also what I try to do is use my fork, go inside and just try to make a hole. I like to pop it inside the fridge at this moment, just to allow it to thicken up a bit, it's a bit melty as I walk on the other piece. So I'm going to just roll it all down here. Just we can use our hands to rub it down. Just like that. You get the idea of what I'm doing here. I would just make a space here. Still putting them differently here, you know. You can choose to do them. I just showed you how to do this because I'm going to put it right away later. So on my desk, bringing back my pan, so I open up this. I just added in um, almost half of it. So we are going to like apply it. So we just do like this down there, but we are not going to just drop it there, we attach it to the sides. Oops. If it breaks, it's not a problem. Attach it, it's not. So you continue with the other one. But let's see. It's not a problem, just pinch it there. Okay, so I've finished. So what I'm doing is just trying to get the down. Just get the edges neat. You know what I mean? And equal. And what I do also is kind of like go a circle form. How does it look? Mm. Mm -hmm. Nice. This is the outcome. So we are going to bake this 180 degrees for 30 to 35 like this. We put it right inside the oven that is already done. Close it up and see you in 30 to 35 minutes. 34 minutes later. There. 